What the hell do you want? Now, is that any way to treat a guest? What are you doing here, Klaus? Well, for starters, young Jeremy here could show some manners and invite me inside. Why don't you go up to your room? Now. Mm. Poor lad. Loses one questionable father figure only to be replaced by the likes of the two of you. Yeah, about that. Something happened. Oh, I know all about my mother's invulnerable little creation. That's why I'm here. I'm leaving town and just need to pick up a few road trip necessities. Spare tire, flashlight, doppelganger. Can't help you there. Elena! I think you're probably going to want to let me in. Wayne, this car's gone. Why wouldn't she tell anyone where she was going? Outside and make me. Plane is not here. Lara has her in Carolina. He's going to kill them both unless you turn yourself over to him. Now I know you're not asking me to walk into a certain death. I really wish we could, but unfortunately, if Lara kills you, there's a one in four chance that we die too. Take those odds. And a hundred percent chance that Tyler dies. Good with that too. Why don't we just figure out a way to put a lark down? Okay. How about Damon sneaks in and distracts Alaric while Stefan grabs Lena and carries her to safety? That's a great idea. What's to stop me from getting killed instantly? Nothing. Caroline's in there, don't you have a thing for her? Or did she just reject you too many times? This isn't really uh, helping too much. I might have an idea. My mom used a desiccation spell on Michael that immobilized him for over 15 years. If I can get it, I might be able to use it on a lark. If and might. Your words inspire such confidence. I'll get it. But even with the spell, we'll need a lot of vampire muscle to take him down. Including yours. Just so we're clear, the sun sets in about eight hours. If we don't succeed before then, Elena will be dead, I'll be gone, and the rest of you will be left to fend for yourselves. <laughs> 